Yasmin Anan with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa arrived in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia today on a visit to meet with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz al Saud, for talks on the close and deep rooted relations between the two countries and ways of consolidating mutual cooperation in different fields, in addition to regional and international issues. He was welcomed at the airport by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier, Minister of Defense Prince Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud, and Governor of Mecca region Prince Mish'al bin. Abdullah Al Saud and Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia. Earlier, His Majesty the King left for Jeddah on a visit to, to meet with the custodian of the two holy mosques for talks on the close and deep rooted relations between the two countries. Both leaders will discuss the outstanding historic fraternal relations between both countries and ways of bolstering them as well as issues of common interest. His Majesty the King sent cables of thanks to a number of Bahraini tribes and families in reply to their supportive letters of allegiance to His Majesty. In the cables, His Majesty paid tribute to their loyalty and keenness in defending the homeland and its interests. He lauded their noble courage and moral ethics, supplicating God Almighty to preserve them and guide them on the right path and help achieve the safety and security of the homeland. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that Bahrain has realized a long time ago the crucial importance of coordination to fight all forms of terrorism and the need for a global partnership to counter terrorism with resolve and efficacy. Addressing a session on Afghanistan at a two-day NATO summit in Wales yesterday, the Crown Prince said that terrorism knows no border as no country is spared from its dangers and threats. He said this required security and defense strategies to avert factors that provide a fertile ground for terrorism to prosper. His Royal Highness said that Bahrain strongly advocates for NATO's continued commitment to a full range of humanitarian initiatives, providing a critical aid to communities affected by regional violence and terrorism. He said that in line with the directives of His Majesty the King, Bahrain continues to bolster effective cooperation with specialized international organizations such as NATO, which operates on a large geographic scale to safeguard peace and security. He said that Bahrain joined the Istanbul Cooperation Initiative, which provides an official cooperation platform with NATO, given the important status and role of the organization in promoting global security and peace. His Royal Highness said that Bahrain is willing to provide opportunities and capabilities to further cement ties with NATO and member states in support of joint international efforts in security and defense. He said Bahrain is ready to take such efforts to new heights now to safeguard security and interests of the region, which has ties with the world as a whole. He also said that Bahrain, as host of combined task force comprising many NATO member countries, continues to demonstrate that it is key international peace and security partner. He noted that the kingdom is a launch pad to collective efforts to provide maritime security and support to counter piracy operations around the Gulf of Oman, the Horn of Africa and the Arabian Gulf. The Crown Prince affirmed that GCC countries have served as key partners with the international community in fighting all forms of terrorism and extremism that pose a direct threat to long-term regional stability. He stressed that Bahrain remains unwavering in its commitment to supporting all efforts by GCC partners and other key allies to work towards this goal. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain has served as a proud partner alongside ISAF coalition forces in Afghanistan, where it maintained a specialized presence on the ground until 2013. He highlighted that while in Afghanistan, the Bahraini force provided security to key ISAF installations and supported the training of the Afghan National Police, noting that as ISAF concludes its mission in Afghanistan, the efforts of all NATO member countries to root out terrorism in the country has provided a more secure future for all Afghan citizens. 
Earlier, NATO Secretary General Rasmussen opened the summit, emphasizing that the strong collaboration among all ISAF coalition members and partners has led to significant achievements in Afghanistan. Also, Prime Minister David Cameron gave a speech saying that the successes NATO had in Afghanistan is a good example of how multifunctional and multinational organization can continue to address the many dangerous and evolving threats facing the world today. Among the important outcomes of the NATO summit was the initiative proposed by His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan to form a coalition of against ISAF and a resolution based on the proposal by the government of Afghanistan to continue assisting the ISAF under a non-combat mission with a sound legal basis. His Highness Colonel Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who accompanied His Royal Highness at the NATO summit, represented Bahrain at NATO's parallel meeting of defense ministers. The session focused on identifying ways to improve communication and information exchange between allies. He also attended an event that showcased UK's defense industry and some of the cutting-edge technology and equipment in design and production in Britain presently. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his accompanying delegation also attended a reception ceremony hosted by His Royal Highness Prince Charles of Wales in honor of senior participants at the NATO summit. The General Directorate of Nationality, Passports and Residence says that close to 320,000 people arrived in Bahrain between the 28th of August and the 3rd of September. The figures show that over 243,000 arrived from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and other GCC countries across the King Fahd Causeway, while close to 76,600 visitors landed at Bahrain International Airport and 317 others came through Sheikh Khalifa Port. Bahrain is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Middle East, hosting over 2 million tourists every year. The hospitality of the people of Bahrain make it a popular choice for tourists visiting the Arab Peninsula and offers great potential as a regional and world tourist destination. Blessed with 33 islands, a cosmopolitan capital city, an attractive liberal lifestyle and a rich history, Bahrain combines traditional Arabic culture, contemporary Gulf glamour and the archaeological legacy of 5,000 years of civilization. The government is actively supporting the tourism industry by contributing to large-scale development projects. <laughs> 